Hi there, I'm going to talk to you about some ways we can manipulate camera match moving systems in Maya Live and Vuju to provide some basic motion capture functionality. The basic principle of motion capture is to take a set of points in real three-dimensional space and then reproduce them in a virtual space over time. Only a dedicated hardware system of multiple high-speed cameras can generate an acceptable solution for body capture. But there are ways of getting an acceptable solution for single points in 3D space and 2D tracking for facial deformation. OK, we're going to look at the single point 3D track now by tracking a head on a body. For the purposes of this experiment, I've shot myself on HDV wearing this cardboard box on my head. It's not just any box, however. You can see that it's covered in a non-repetitive pattern. As the Bougie software is based on pattern recognition, it's important we give it some data to track with. It also needs to take up a substantial portion of the frame here. Traditionally, Bougie is used to generate virtual camera movement. But by tracking a moving object with a locked off camera, the solution can be inverted to solve for a static camera. Usually the process is automatic, giving a reasonable solution. But when tracking an object, there are far fewer pixels to deal with, so it requires substantial tweaking. Firstly, we draw a mask around the area to be tracked and keyframe it to fit for the length of the footage. We can then invert the mask and track the points. With these points, a rough solve can be generated. In order to smooth this out, I've gone in and tracked some individual points then constrain them to a plane and constrain the distance between them. This camera movement is looking a bit better there, so we can save it out to Maya for more refinement. We can add in some rough geometry here to test the movement. Just parent the object to the group of Buju data and it will follow along. If you open the graph editor, you can see a representation of the movement. Any odd looking spikes of data, you can go through and manually tweak or delete. This should give you a reasonable result. Using Live, each point of data gets tracked, setting manual points for any untrackable frames. Now this is where it becomes unconventional. Instead of solving for camera movement, which wouldn't work at all in this case, we're going to use the motion of the points to drive the movement of locators. Just parenting the locators isn't going to work here at all, as the points don't actually translate. Rather, they contain an attribute called location. Using the connection editor, we can take the location x and y attributes and plug them into the translate x and y of the locators, mimicking the two-dimensional movements. Now I've roughly modelled some lips and set the locators to drive the movement of clusters to get a rough lip movement. OK, here you can see a more developed application of these two concepts. The head is tracked onto the video body and in addition to this, its facial deformation is handled by the motion capture face. OK, thank you very much. I hope you found something useful in this presentation. That's it for me. Goodbye.